it's James Banks here for Up Close Gamers, and we're doing our first gaming monitor review on the BenQ XL 2410T 120Hz LED monitor. This monitor was co developed with both gaming legends from Counter Strike 1.6, Heaton and Spawn. This monitor has some really cool features. To start off with, it's a 24 inch monitor. And it is 120 hertz, which is perfect for us gamers. I know a lot of FPS players love to play with 120 hertz monitors. It is 1920 times 1080 max resolution, which is pretty damn big. I don't think you'd need anything bigger. Um, and then you've got a 2ms response time. Now another cool feature that I'm about to demonstrate to you guys of this monitor is how it can rotate and how we can change the height of it, which is great because you see plenty of gamers at events who like on monitors without a height adjustment they get whatever they can find to bring it up to a, a high level like a, a stand or a box or something but you don't need to do this with the BenQ monitor it's done for you because they've built it in with the stand the monitor is really easy to adjust and I'll show you how now there's just one clip of the back here you press that down and you can pull it up and this monitor goes really high like can't see why you need it but everyone's got their own preference for how high it is you can have it low um, then the other cool function of this is how it can rotate and spin See, you can have your monitor at any angle you want it to. Maybe to show off pictures or something. Just another cool feature. Now I'm going to show you guys the monitor and use in some games. I'm going to start with Counter Strike 1.6. Now Counter Strike 1.6 is a very old game. A lot of the gamers are very particular about their settings. And you couldn't really achieve these settings in um, with newer monitors. But with the BenQ monitor you now can and it's great to see. So I'm just going to show you them functions. Okay, so I'm in Counter Strike now. Now this is the full mode um, before we can before we change anything. It's the default mode, and it looks really, really wide for Counter Strike. Like especially because it's an old game, and um, I used to be a player before, and I like playing in 640 by 400. So this looks really, really stretched. I'm just going to show you now how we can change it just by the press of a button, which is really helpful. See, you just press this button here underneath, and you've got full mo display mode full, which is the current mode. You press it again, aspect, which brings it down to the same kind of resolution that we're looking at right now, that's 640 by 400. Then we've got one by one, which turns into a very small box. You can't see why I'd want to play it like that. Then we've got 17 inch monitor mode, 19 inch, 19 inch wide, 22 inch wide, and then back to full. Now I prefer to play with the aspect ratio, just makes the game look a bit more how Counter Strike used to look. And yeah, there you have it. That's one of the great functions for Counter Strike. And also, what you'll notice about this monitor, um, especially for Counter Strike, like when we used to play on big old CRT monitors back in the day, it was um, 120 hertz, is what we'd always look for. And it was very hard to get in the new monitors because they were always like 75 hertz. But this is one of the first 120 hertz monitors I've tried, and it's perfect. It feels just like the old days. It's like playing Counter Strike years ago when I played all the time. So, thank you have done a good job on this part. Okay, so now I'm in World of Warcraft, and um, what I can say about this monitor is I've just got everything set on the normal default settings, and it looks really lush, like, just so bright, the colours all coming at you, nice shading. I do have everything turned up to ultra in this, because uh, I guess my computer's pretty good to handle that, but it just, yeah, everything looks really nice, really enhanced colours, um, good definition on it all really good for such a large monitor and I enjoy playing World of Warcraft this way. So now I'm playing a bit of Starcraft 2, showing it on the monitor. Now, looks really good, nice highlighted colours, but the only thing I don't like a bit on this is it seems a bit too dark. Now I'm playing with low settings because that's what I prefer. Put all the brightness to default, but I just would like to see it a little bit brighter on the dark settings because it's... and it doesn't seem as bright as like when I was playing World of Warcraft for example. So that would be my only complaint on this side of it. Okay, we're now playing Counter-Strike Source. And I'm going to show you the different modes that this monitor has, which is a really cool function. So as you can see at the moment, we've got it in Aspect. And that's bringing it down so it's not the full screen, so it's a nice nice ratio. But all you've got to do is change this, which is got plenty of different modes, including the FPS mode. Just go across here into the menu, bring across all to the side, go to Picture, Advanced. Then you've got different modes, so you press enter down there, enter again on the picture mode, and now look at the difference in this. So here we have FPS mode. It's gone up to um, 
back to widescreen because it's a different preset so you can change it to how however you want it to have. Now to me this looks a bit brighter than the, the previous standard mode that we had on. User game one. Doesn't look very good for gaming. It's brought back my aspect ratio. It's um, quite bitty. User game two. Then movie. Now this looks a lot brighter. Very much enhanced colours and stuff. Quite like this one for not so much for playing but for media uses and such. And then we have photo, things get a bit darker, seems, everything seems a bit clearer though. Eco, which is obviously for power saving, it's not, not a bad mode to have. And then back to standard, now this is just the normal mode. So that's another, another set of functions you can use to have the game however you want it to be and have the monitor set to multiple different preferences. Now another good thing to point out while playing FPS games especially is when making fast movements like this you can sometimes see us tear in the monitor around here or anywhere over it where it just simply can't handle the speed you're moving. Um, that tip typically hand happens in like poor quality monitors or low budget monitors where well, you don't get any of that in this. It's perfectly moved through no matter how many people are on the, on the game on your screen. It just looks really good at all speeds and yeah, no complaints there, that's perfect for me as an FPS player. So let's have a conclusion. This monitor is really good for game, perfect choice. It's got plenty of different modes on it, and rather than just focusing on gaming like some monitors, it's also given us the chance to choose between like different modes of the movie presets and stuff, gives you plenty of options, and it's a true 120Hz monitor, and I know that from the FPS feel I'm getting when playing it, which is like just amazing to have that. If there was anything bad I'd have to say about the monitor, it would be a slight brightness issue. Um, you can turn it up a bit, but for some areas it just doesn't seem to, it seems to be too bright on the colourful areas and not bright enough on the dark areas, which is a bit of a shame. But overall, I'd give this monitor 9 out of 10. I'd like to thank BenQ for giving me the opportunity to review this monitor, and look forward to seeing more of their products.